Hi everyone. Today we will learn about Microsoft Excel 2016. You can find this application on your desktop. When you click on this start button, you will go to all apps and when you click on the all apps you will find this application with the letter E and here you can open it or you can open it from the taskbar when we open it it takes a couple of minutes to bring up this green window you will see this kind of layout and the number one is blank workbook you can see this and when you open this inside this blank workbook all of these light gray colored boxes are called cells if we talk about this particular cell it has got a name and that name is G8. This cell actually belongs to the column G. And you can see that G column and 10 number row, both of them are highlighted. And that's why it becomes G10, means G column and 10 row. And here you can see the cell E6, column E, row number 6. And this box is the address box. Or you can say the name of the cell. If you want to enter any information into the cell, then you just click inside any box and start typing. When you write anything, just press enter and it will take you to the next box and the information in this box will be saved. If you want to add more information onto the next box, then you can repeat the same process. Now, if you want to change these two boxes to a series you can select this box and you can see this plus sign on the right hand side of the box you need to click and drag this and when you leave the mouse it will create the series and you can see the series is here if you want to do the series in a row, then you can drag it towards your right and it will repeat the same process. And Microsoft Excel itself detects the series and the patterns. Now, when you want to name this file, you see there's a name that's called Sheet 1. This is the default name given by Microsoft Excel when you double click on this you start writing and you can rename this sheet and as soon as you type anything when your writing is finished you can just press enter and your name is saved but your sheet is still not saved so to save that worksheet you need to go on to save as and find the location you want to save this file and you can see I have found desktop here so I want to save this file on desktop and I will give this file a name days of the week
you can see the this is the name of the sheet and the type of the text and file and it says excel workbook here you can see the button save as soon as you press that your file will be saved onto your chosen location so that is it for today thank you and thanks for watching